You know, this is going to be, it's a little awkward uh, when you want to disagree with someone on your, on your side of the aisle, but I, I have to dramatically disagree with my colleague, Ms. Crockett, who used data and statistics and facts to claim that this is the least productive Congress uh, in modern history. First of all, this Congress removed the Speaker, okay, which has never happened in the history of the Republic. That's clearly uh, some, that's a big accomplishment uh, in the 118th. Th this Congress took 15 rounds to even elect that speaker that they then removed, right, which was historic in its, in its own right. A and then they removed a member of their own party. That hadn't happened in, in 20 years, so kudos to them. Uh, they've had a failed impeachment of a president. I don't think we've seen that happen in a really long time. Uh, this Congress did impeach a cabinet secretary Though, without meeting any constitutional threshold, we haven't seen that happen in 150 years. Uh, this Congress wants to hold Merrick Garland in contempt and then possibly arrest him. Um, I, I don't think we've ever seen that in the history of the Republic. We've seen a failed motion to vacate to remove a second speaker. Again, history in the 118th. Uh, and who could forget that this Congress, on behalf of the American people, saved gas stoves and ovens, and toasters, and blenders, and dishwashers from the communist grip of energy standards. So I think Ms. Crockett was pointing out that this is least productive. These seem to be accomplishments on behalf of the American people that are clearly historic and may never be repeated uh, in, in another Congress. Uh, you know, with that, there was a lot of discussion about the CBO report. Who is the CBO, Mr. Shriver? The Congressional Budget Office. Okay, so those are our, our folks. Correct, Congressman. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's nonpartisan. Correct. Okay. And you mentioned a report that they issued, right? That report, which I have here, came out in April of 2024. Yes, Congressman. Okay. That's the report I was referring and, to. And even though it's nonpartisan, who controls the House in 2024? Uh, I believe the Republican Party. Okay. I believe you're correct. So on page 21 of that report, which is the congressional report from the CBO, it specifically shows the difference between the private sector and the federal government when it comes to teleworking. Uh, there's, a, there's a chart which I have behind me, and you know, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna do what Trump did and just circle Alabama, but I am gonna circle that area right there, right? So we always constantly hear that we should run government like a business. This seems to show, according to the congressional report, our report from April, just a month ago, that the private sector is teleworking more than federal employees. Is that what this chart shows? Congressman, that's how I read that chart, yes. 